The following is a hypnosis-themed audio drama, and the characters in this file do not reflect the beliefs or opinions of the owners. This is a fictional setting that should not be reenacted. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello? Hello? Are you open? The one time I go on vacation and the lounge staff isn't anywhere. <laughs> Any waiters? Anybody here? I should be worried about that. Uh, if this is a VIP lounge, don't, don't worry about me. I'll just see myself out. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, you, uh, uh, you scared me. I, uh, I'm sorry. Did I come when you guys were closed? I didn't mean to. If you need me to go, I just... Please. Uh, okay. You are not trespassing. I wish the place could have offered you more hospitality, but we're having a bit of a slow season. My name is Jadir. A pleasure to meet you. Y yeah. The boardwalk was pretty sparse. There aren't any surfers or beachgoers. Mostly just tourists that don't want to touch the beach. <laughs> and yourself... Not a fan of Sam. <laughs> I'm just here for the restaurants and bookstore. I'm not exactly the kind of guy that takes his shirt off, let alone someone that goes out for a tan. White fur, you know. Well, perhaps I could offer a bit of entertainment. We usually don't have visitors until the evening, so it would just be the two of us. Well, you're a pretty, um, big snake. What, what's that on your face? I can't see your eyes. My visor hooked up to the speakers laced into my hood. It's connected to my vocal cords, so when I speak during an on-stage performance, I'm my own amplifier. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really cool. I guess I don't have to worry about swirlier eyes or anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, what exactly do you do here? I read. Seriously? That's right. I read. Or, more accurately, I narrate. Perhaps I could speak to you a while, so you can relax and enjoy a good story? I'm good. I don't think I'd enjoy being read to. I've been reading my own book since I was five. Oh, but you don't have my voice. Allow me to demonstrate. Really, it's okay. There's probably a lot to do down the Rabbit had considered leaving, but with the sound of the Naga's voice permeating through the room, he felt a sudden urge to turn around and indulge in a wave of curiosity uncharacteristic of him. I... Uh... You know, I could use a story, if you're offering. Please, come in. The speakers in my hood do more than just project volume. They help make my voice all the more present. Have you noticed? I, uh, I noticed a little bit. No, oh, of course you did. I have a naturally charismatic voice. It's a rare gift, but with enough focus and practice, I've been able to develop the ability to alter one's perception of reality. R really That's... Fascinating. How can you do that? It all comes down to saying the right things. The right descriptors can make all the difference. You're talking about hypnosis, aren't you? I, uh, I just realized I really shouldn't be here. Let me just... Wait, 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 wait. Don't be so shy. I'm not exactly as big a fan of coiling, but rabbits like you can't seem to sit still unless I take a moment to squeeze and calm you I just, down. I just need to close my eyes. That's all I need to do. Don't think about it. Just <laughs> shut it out. Oh, that's adorable. No, dear rabbit, I have no need for my eyes. As a conditioner, it's important to hone your various skills one way or another. Now, let me see. P please don't eat me? Eat you? You insult me. I'm not some primitive serpent debasing himself with carnal cravings. No. 
I don't eat. I'm mold. Mold? Mold. Permit me to show you. W wait. My eyes are closed. How are you? You. Trapped in the coils, the rabbit struggled, eyes closed, but unable to comprehend how the Naga's voice was affecting him so. He went limp in the undulating scales, cheeks squished by the very tip of the tail. His ears flattened, and he found it harder and harder to speak. Not because the coils were cutting off his airway, but because the voice was gradually eroding his comprehension of speech. I... I don't know what this... Uh, some bun gonna... Yes. Already you're trapped in the story. You're not a bunny, you're not real, just a character for me to work and adjust. Why can... He was released from the coils, but he could only stare straight ahead, arms at his sides. He tried to walk away, tried to pull himself from the sound, keeping him still. The rabbit was desperate to cling to any iota of his self-determination before he was trapped in the pages the Naga was enunciating. Soon he would be little more than a puppet to play out Chatir's wishes. Have to go before... before... Before we decide to take you for ourselves, you were right, rabbit. This boardwalk is far too empty. What we need are fun, exciting locals to make the place more lively. Something I excel at. E excel? No. I'm not... Shh, 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 shh. The rabbit forgot his words. The occasional grunt couldn't justify that he was resisting properly. Soon his ears would perk to attention. He would tighten up and empty out everything that he used to be. As his Naga conditioner watched the conscious self fade from his eyes totally. I'm... Uh, I'm... Just a blank bunny. <laughs> My favorite part. A blank slate for me to work over. You'll be the first of many, little rabbit. My master implored me the importance of bringing life back to this barren beach. But he never said how. How are we feeling? Ah, yes. The rabbit was lost in bliss. He didn't know what would happen next, but two words hovered on his lips, quivering for Jadir to get started. Mold me. Well, if you insist, but first, a little backdrop for the bunny. Having you so blank isn't much fun. Too easy. Let's alter the scene. The rabbit's thoughts return. The cool wind brushing against his fur, the hot sand keeping his white feet warm. He was wearing nothing but a speedo, the ocean spray fresh on his nose. Huh? Huh? Whoa! How did I get here? Ah! What happened to my clothes? Where'd the Naga go? D did he hypnotize me? He was convinced there was a time lapse, not realizing he was still quite under. 
suddenly his nose began to grow a bit bigger. What? A rounded black nose in contrast to his cute pink one. His combed over brown hair turning to a sandy light blonde covering in bangs over his sides. Making it hard to see, his fur grew tanner, a fluffed bronze. Hey, that tickles. How is this happening? Soon his tail was stretching, spinal segments forming one by one. His tail seemed reminiscent of a rudder almost. Colored light tan like the rest of him. Stop it! Get back in there, spine! He was turning into an otter. Lithe, muscular. Someone that would fit right in on a beach like this. No! No, I don't! I'm... uh, I'm a rabbit. Uh, I don't... But it wasn't enough for him to look the part. He had to act it as well. Soon his voice was slipping into the beach stereotype that was expected of an otter. I don't even know the first thing about... Catching a sick wave, brah! (laughs) He could try to stop it, but now, to everyone else, he was just an otter. He was an otter, through and through. A simple, fun-loving... Dumb surfer otter. Uh, like, uh, what's happening to me, uh, bra? His mind was empty, left devoid of the life he once had, leaving just an obedient otter doing as he was told. It was a nice day out. And he loved nothing more than giving a good flex and showing off to the tourists until they decided to stick around and have a good time. And, uh, do as otters told, bro. Yeah. Feels tight, man. Just an obedient otter doing as he's told without ever questioning us or his lot in lot in life. Uh, uh, You paying attention? uh, Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Bro. I was just thinking of the waves I'm gonna shred later today. (laughs) Hmm, amusing. But you have other things to do today. I do? You have to go out to the beach and pose for the tourists, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Cause... A good otter does as he's told. Does... as he's told. Cha. And don't forget to point some my way if they're having a good time. Toads. Good boy. I think a few confident otters might draw in the crowd. But perhaps I'll consider a few orcas to supplement later. (laughs) In the meantime, I think I'll coil up with a good book.